Yeah, guys, critics of Oklahoma's abortion law say the language that's on the books right now is unclear, but the lawmakers who wrote these laws disagree, and they say that abortion is clearly defined. There are a ton of potential unintended consequences to these provisions. State Democrats and the ACLU argue the recent overturning of Roe v. Wade and the laws Oklahoma had already passed could lead to more bans. Absolutely all contraceptives, including um, the Plan B or morning after pill, are on the chopping block as well. And we know that because that's what we've seen in other states. And we don't know where it ends. But the authors of the legislation are insistent their goal is to only restrict abortions that are done intentionally unless the mother's life is at risk. You cannot have, uh, perform an abortion in Oklahoma unless it's to save the life of the mother. Just like the law was before 1973, it's, it's reverted to that and it is fully enforceable. Opponents argue abortion bills lead to a slippery slope, but Senator Greg Treat rejects that argument. Treat taking a Twitter on Saturday, writing that IVF treatments, contraceptives, and removal of an ectopic pregnancy remain legal. So technically in this argument, both sides could be correct. Current Oklahoma law, abortion law, does provide clear exceptions for things like contraceptives, plan B, or essential procedures, things like an IVF treatment. But there's also a fair concern to have when it comes to contraceptives, at least access to them at a federal level. Just last week, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas wrote an opinion where he said previous court rulings on a right to contraceptives at a federal level was a mistake. So right now a state could pass a ban on contraceptives. The Supreme Court could hear that law and decide whether or not to either do away with that right or keep it at a federal level, similar to what was done last week when there was a decision on abortion.